Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Costco haul. Um, it is March 31st and we are two weeks into our coronavirus quarantine shelter in place, stay at home. We're in Northern California. And um, I did a big haul a couple of weeks ago and they, the governor announced um, yesterday or the day before that our quarantine is gonna last at least through the end of April. So it's April 1st tomorrow, so we have another month to go. So I went to Costco today just to pick up some more meat and um, other things we might need just so we can try to avoid the store as much as possible. We will have to go back for milk because we have a two-year-old that has a bottle, um, you know, a couple times a day at like bedtime and nap time. So we will just be running to the store for milk, but um, hopefully we won't really have to get much else other than maybe some fresh produce. Um, okay, <clears throat> so this is what I got. I um, got some corn chips and this frozen Atlantic salmon. We love this salmon. They come individually packaged. It takes about 20 minutes to defrost them in a bowl of cold water. And then I just put a little bit of olive oil with some lemon and salt and pepper. You bake them for about, I think like 12 minutes. I'd have to look at the directions again, but they're so good. Um, so it really makes a yummy dinner. We usually have it with like quinoa or rice and um, some veggies. I got some more eggs. I got this big pack of pork chops, so this will probably make like four meals for us. It's my husband and I, and then we have a five-year-old and a, or a four-and-a-half-year-old and a, a two-year-old. So um, I'll make like five meals out of this, and I'm sure we'll have leftovers on those meals as well. So I'll portion this out and then freeze some of the pork. I got a thing of Better Than Bouillon. I've never used that before, but um, I know that a lot of people use it and they like it, so I figured that'd be good to have on hand. Um, some frozen chicken breasts, this huge thing of ground beef, and it's six pounds, so I'll portion this out probably into like six one-pound portions and freeze freeze it. This big thing of chicken thighs, um, fresh asparagus, so we still have um, Brussels sprouts, lettuce, and um, fresh corn that we'll eat this next week, um, and then the asparagus as well, so we're probably good for like a week or two on fresh veggies at this point. Um, some sliced Tillamook cheese, it's our favorite cheese. Some cooked beets, we love eating these just on the side and salads, things like that. We needed some more toothpaste, so we got a five pack just to have on hand. Some more of our coffee that we love, the San Francisco Bay French Roast Coffee. These were like a total impulse buy, they're the lemon old fashioned donuts. Um, so I got those as a treat. Some of this old fashioned beef jerky, my husband loves to snack on that. Some fresh mozzarella, I love doing caprese salads. Some feta, um, we have another big one of these in the fridge that we're almost out of. We probably have like one more use left in it and we love doing Greek salads. So Kalamata olives, um, cucumber, feta, tomatoes, red onion. And it's so good and you put like lemon and olive oil and some other stuff on it so but another thing of feta a big thing of taco seasoning um a thing of paprika some strawberry jam we didn't actually need any jam we have some in the pantry like a jar of it but i figured again if this is going to last for more than another month which it really could i thought it would be good to just keep in the pantry some more airborne so um, this is the kind that you dissolve in water. I got the gummies last time, but they didn't have any more of the gummies. Um, and then some more vitamin C. Same thing, got the gummies last time, but they were sold out on the gummies. Uh, I got a big thing of Q-tips because we're almost out. Some more avocados. These are not ripe, so they'll ripen in the next probably three or four days, and we'll eat them over the next week or so. A big thing of Kalamata olives for our Greek salads. Another thing of women's vitamins. I'm about halfway done with this, so I thought I would have one in the cupboards. Um, bottle of Head & Shoulder Shampoo, my husband uses that. And again, we have probably a half of one of these in the shower, but I might as well just stock up on this stuff now so we can avoid going to the store. Um, a box of fig bars, we have one of these in the pantry, uh, but these are good for like over a year and our kids love these for like breakfast or just occasionally for a snack throughout the day. So I'll put that in the garage. Um, I got some more children's vitamins. Again, just to have a back stock of them. Some coffee creamer. 
some hydrogen peroxide uh, rotisserie chicken. We're gonna have this tonight for dinner with brown rice and cabbage and pinto beans. We're making like a rice bowl. Two things of oat nut bread. I'll put these in the freezer. Three jars of marinara sauce. That'll go in the garage um, just to have on hand. A couple of things of bagels. I'm gonna put these in the freezer as well. Probably just individually freeze these. Um, I got a big thing of cream cheese too. I don't think I showed that. So a big container of cream cheese. Um, some more dishwasher soap. Two big things of paste uh, salsa. And we use salsa on tacos, eggs, rice, beans and rice bowls. Um, yeah, they're just good on so many things. So I figured this would be good to have on hand. Olive oil, again, I have probably one of these that's like a half gone, but we use olive oil a ton. So I got one of these for backup. Some Unstoppables, I love these in our laundry. More Tide Pods, again, just to have a stock of them. And then some Bounce dryer sheets. I also got a, another pool floaty. I got one of those last time. And we've been working in the yard a lot since we've been home. And we noticed that the ones that we got last year like this are in pretty rough shape just from kids climbing on them and getting faded by the pool and that kind of thing. So we thought we'd buy a couple more for the summer and um, let the kids play on the kind of tattered ones and save the nice ones for the adults uh, just so they don't get ruined. We got some toilet paper. Um, last time we didn't buy toilet paper and we're about halfway through a Costco size thing of toilet paper. We didn't really need it, but again, because it's been selling out, I thought I'll just grab some to have. My husband prefers the Downey. Um, he doesn't like the Kirkland brand, but this is all they had and I thought we might as well get it while it's in stock because it has been selling out everywhere. And then we got some more dog food. We got this blue bag last time of dog food, but that's not really the kind that our dog eats. They just, that's all they had and we weren't sure when they would get the red one back in. So I think I'll take that blue bag back since we now have the correct kind of dog food for her. So that is what I got at Costco. And I hope that you guys are all staying in and staying healthy. Um, we will get through this time. It's pretty crazy. Um, I didn't think it would really last as long as it is going to. And I think it might even last a little bit longer, but ultimately we will get through it. So if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe and stick around and I'll see you in my next video.